Hello dears, Ola here. Today I will show you how to create a handbag shaped album using Havana collection by Prima. This project not too complicated. You definitely can finish it in a few hours and this could be a great gift. I have a four paper pad of a Havana collection and I'm going to choose four papers for album pages. Now we have to score all four papers twice, a five and half on each side. I already prepared eight flips for photo placements. They made of a heavyweight watercolor paper. As a base for photo placements I'm going to use journaling notocards from the same collection. I choose four cards in horizontal direction and another four cards which I can cut uh, to a square shape. Now I'm going to darken all the edges of uh, all photo placements with the uh, color philosophy brown color ink. Now I'm going to match all the photo placements with the background and uh, to glue them on the flips. I just finished all preparation and now I can design the pages. To create a layering I'm going to use a few papers from the same pad which I cut to small pieces. To embellishment this album I'm going to use a fussy cut element which I already cut from uh, one paper of the same collection. And of course I will use uh, some flowers of uh, the same Havana collection.
because I don't have too much place to add embellishments on uh, the bottom side of the page, I decided to use uh, also uh, some washi types uh, from the same collection. This uh, can make it uh, a little bit more interesting. Now we're going to connect all pages together. It's really easy. Just glue them, glue their back sides, each one to the other. You have to leave without gluing only the uh, top side of uh, the first page and the bottom side of uh, the last page. With these pages we will connect the album to the cover. It's better to add uh, some paper clips on the glued pages till the glue will dry. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to make a cover spine. This piece has to be in the same width like Page's spine. For this piece I'm using heavyweight watercolor paper. And now we have to score this piece on scoreboard just on each line. It's important to make it more flexible. To create the cover we also need four pieces of a heavyweight chipboard. I'm just writing you exact measurements. Now I'm gluing all the pieces on a felt fabric. You have to do it just in the same way as I do. It's important to leave some distance between all the parts. Uh, the distance has to be like a half centimeter. Now I'm going to wrap this construction with the cotton fabric, but before wrapping we have to cover the spine and also the other small piece with the same cotton fabric, just as I do. One more step before wrapping is uh, to cover the smaller part with some cardstock piece. When you glue the other side, just make sure uh, to stretch the fabric on the cover. Now I'm going to wrap the rounded corners. The way is a little bit different from the straight corners.
I'm gluing two small pom-pom trims on the album spine edges just to get more aesthetic look and it's a good time to remove the paper clips. To make spine stronger, I'm covering it with a piece of the same cotton fabric which I use it for the cover. Now we have to connect the album to the cover. Just remember not to glue the spine. Only the first and the last pages of the album to the sides of the cover. After gluing the last page, to press it to the chipboard, do not open the album completely, only on half. Otherwise, this page will not stick. And the album is almost ready. Now we can uh, design the top side of the cover. Uh, do not open the album and do not remove uh, the clips till the glue will completely dry. As you see, I'm going to use here a door knob. To connect it, you can use uh, just any very strong glue. That's it. I hope you liked this tutorial. My advice is uh, to watch it a few times before you start to work on your own project. If you have any questions, uh, you're welcome to ask me. A link to the supplies list you will find in the movie description.
Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!